Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So today I am sharing the second process video where I'm working in my Believe collection, which is my December monthly release through my Etsy shop. I posted a video earlier in the week. I'll be sure to leave that link in the description box down below in case you missed it. I also have a traveler's notebook flip through of this completed journal that I've already shared here on my channel. So I'll be sure to link that down below too. So today I'm just getting started by adding the hearts to the, my center strings in my journals. I love doing this. I do this every month. So I just wanted to get that done. And then I'm going to decorate this page here in the center. I end up using my book page from A Christmas Carol. I really love that. It is my favorite Christmas story of all time. So I was very excited to put that in this collection. Only the page is so stark white, there's nothing that looks old about it at all. So I end up using the ink old paper. It's um, That's the color. Distress Oxide is the ink, but the color old paper and just kind of give it a little bit more of an aged look. And then I'm going to add my postcard from the collection. And because it's over a hundred years old, there's no way I'm going to glue that down to my page. So I use some photo corners to adhere it to the page. That way I can pop it in and out and look at it whenever I want to. I end up using Mod Podge to glue my book page down to the paper. It doesn't really matter what glue you use here. I only have a little bit of Mod Podge left in this bucket, so I'm just trying to use it up. For those of you who might be interested, these photo corners are from Hobby Lobby, but I picked them up possibly like over 10 years ago. <laughs> so it's been a while since I've bought photo corners, but I'm sure that they are still at Hobby Lobby if you're interested. And now I'm just going to kind of continue with the stamping where I left off from the last video. I'm using the color Festive Berries, again in Distress Oxide ink. This is my new favorite ink. I kind of use it all the time, but I really love this red color for Christmas. So that's what I'm going to be using for the stamping throughout this video. Now I decide to use the little golden book 
book page that came in the collection as a pocket on this page. I end up folding it in half and then adhering it to the center of the page. I add some washi tape to the edges because I didn't want to cut the book page down, but you can see the little holes from the staples where it was attached in the book. Anyway, I fold it in half, I add some glue, and I make a double pocket out of it. Now I'm going to use the third book page from the collection and I'm going to make an envelope out of it. I really like this book page. It has some scripture about the three kings out of Matthew. So I didn't want to cut up the page at all. This way I can still see all of the scripture on the envelope. And I really like the border around the book page. I actually end up using that, I think in the next video to add a little bit more detail to the, the journal page itself even though I didn't finish that up in this video. But yeah, I'm just tearing the edges. I'm gonna ink it, make a little envelope out of it, and then it's something I can use when I'm journaling. And now I'm gonna bust into the little baggie of paper clips that your lady made. I can't believe that she put so much effort into making little charmed clips for us, but I'm so very appreciative. Thank you, your lady. I love adding something that you made to my journal. I think it was November's journal where I added the stamped tag from the kit to one of the book pages and just left it out in the open to do some extra journaling and decorating with. I'm gonna do that again here because I really like that. <laughs> I like that look, so I'm just going to ink up this tag and glue it down.
I decide to use the scrapbook paper that came in the collection as jumbo size journaling tags basically. So I'm just going to cut those down to size, do some punching, and then just add them to my journal for now. And this is Milo making his video appearance and being really helpful. <laughs> And you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in the Believe Collection, a link to my Etsy shop will be down below, so check that out. Otherwise, you guys, I have one more Journal With Me video coming up in the next couple of days, so keep your eyes open for that. I hope that you all are having a wonderful holiday season. I can't believe that Christmas is right around the corner. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and I will see you in the next one.